I have the great pleasure now of being joined by Highlight Symposium speaker, Dr. Richard Carson. Thank you for being here. Happy to be here, as always. So I want to talk about something that I think is wonderful and groundbreaking and so necessary, and that is neurology research as it relates to nuclear medicine. The, the beautiful part about what we can do in nuclear medicine is to be able to combine targeted radiopharmaceuticals that are going to look specifically at proteins or pharmacology in the brain that is specific to a given disease, and then build that with exquisite instrumentation that has just continued to just blossom in terms of the quality of the images that we see, and therefore the diagnostic quality that we can get from those, those kind of images. So let's look forward and say, how does that translate into clinical practice? Because that's where it's so meaningful. Right. And so we're seeing that already emerging in the area of dementia and Alzheimer's particular, and, and even in the more uh, other neurological disorders related to that, to be able to have the tracers that bind specifically to these misfolded proteins. I mean, the classics in Alzheimer's are amyloid and tau. And we've evolved some very, very nice tracers. It's a long process. I mean, the idea is of e even early on, the first measurement tool for amyloid, carbon-11 PIB, over 20 years ago, and people are still working on improving, finding, fine-tuning those tools. But now, as treatments become available for Alzheimer's disease, the ability to identify patients as early as possible really requires exquisite radiopharmaceuticals with great sensitivity, the ability to identify this, these issues in the brain in very small regions, and then when we combine that with elegant new instrumentation, we have incredible tools that really save the lives of patients. And educating people seems to be the key in that because you really do have to get to patients super early. So people with a family history? Right, right, exactly. And, and, and it's, sometimes it's family history there, but even then there's so much of these disorders are, are not understood about what the etiology would be. But I think the area that's going to show a lot of excitement very soon is in Parkinson's disease. There is incredible effort, and a lot of that was support from the Michael J. Fox Foundation, to be able to develop a tracer for the misfolded protein in Parkinson's alpha-synuclein. And that's going to give that, that jump start for the clinical trials to be able to identify those patients who are most likely to benefit by treatments that will be affecting those early loss, in this case of dopaminergic neurons. So when you talk about building on decades of research and when we think about nuclear neurology, what do you see us really honing in on in the next, say, five to 10 years? Right. So, I, I mean, what we've been doing for many, many years still works. And I think the, the idea is that as we learn more about what the right molecular targets need to be and then how to turn those into successful radiopharmaceuticals. But it's still challenging. I mean, there's a lot of elegant work in the molecular modeling to understand the docking of these molecules into these proteins, but that's only part of the story. It depends a lot on these, how these tracers get taken up throughout the body, how they get metabolized. How does that work to produce the contrast as well as the quantification we need to be able to make an accurate rec measurement of what's going on in individual patients? Long way to still always, there's always room for improvement, but, but, but we have, once we get that starting point of here's something that seems to be working, then the field really jumps in and we really move that into something that can get used in clinical practice. Well, thank goodness for the researchers. We appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you so much, Dr. Carson. Happy to be here.